Ah, oh, hello dear viewer, unleash us. Welcome back to Hydronia. You've caught me unloading the contents of my latest shopping trip. That's right. So, what have we got here? Our vertical conveyor belts, because I've deemed that the next most important thing to do is to dispose of the uh, the loading of the harvester. So what I'd like to try and do, if it will work, I should be up here, there we go, is, is this going to work? I don't know. Can I load dirt from a bucket initially onto the conveyor belt and the conveyor belts then carry it up and deposit in into the harvester what i can see as being a problem here actually you might be able to see the problem here possibly you see how there's a ridge here how's it going to handle this is it going to flip lumps of mud into the top or are they going to somehow slip and fall down it's one of the gaps are really gaps you know what i mean about square objects and one of their how square they really are i suspect that i might have to have conveyor vertical conveyor conveyor vertical conveyor and do it like that but we're going to find out i do actually quite like these conveyors as well i like the design of them because where's my other spare one i had one left from before maybe i shoved it over here by the by the truck this might be here i don't think oh no, that's the grinder we'll come to that in a minute um what i particularly like about these conveyors is how they link together see it goes there's an outlet pipe here which needs a bung in it but it goes um i did wonder when i first was bung the first one how they link together how you get the pipe which you have to feed a pipe underneath but no they feed into each other into there so i need an inlet pipe here we'll do another one for now and we'll see how it works when it comes to throwing mud onto it. It all seems to be working okay, but that's not really surprising. Let's just put a bung in here before it really upsets me. There we go. So, that's how we test this. This might work. This is a small piece of dirt that I accidentally made earlier. And it should be small enough to get fed into I know it won't work. It won't work because the the thing's got to be on. Hold on. Oh, how come this is no longer working? Maybe valves auto turn off. Yeah, I think they do. I think they can valves probably auto turn off every time you uh, at the start of a game, which is good. If they auto turned off, it'd be a problem because this thing would be running, then wouldn't it? Right, let's try again. It looks like it might just work. You know? No, I don't want to get fed into the harvester. Don't harvest me, please. Ready? It worked, you know. It only blimmin' well worked. That's good, isn't it? I like it. So, what of course we're all leading up to here is the automation of... Um, the drill as well because I think you can see quite easily imagine that although I can run up and down here with buckets and still load them on there and it'll be quicker than here's me hole down here and it'll be quicker than um, I had done before carrying buckets up individually like this I had buckets on here and I was doing whatever let's see how this works We've reached ground zero, by the way. We're at bedrock here. I reckon this whole area just flattens out into a shallow basin, so you can't do any more than you have here. That's what I'm thinking. Come on, me. Get up the ladder. It's rather an awkward spot. I think the, the shovel might be in the way. There we go. By the way, I've only got four buckets. I keep buying five buckets, but I regularly only have four. I think the game's got a thing about fives. I don't know why, but... Twice now, I bought a fifth bucket 
and every time it vanishes, and I don't really know how. Occasionally I've found one in odd places, there may be two little buckets lying around sadly in the wilderness somewhere, but they seem to vanish. Uh, before we go any further on this though, um, let's just try this one more time, let's just try emptying this under here. So the manual method does work, which I think it does. Well, it would do. That's not very good. Actually, that's not very good, is it? Because I... Bugger. Are you going to empty out? You did. Where did you go to? That was weird. Uh, <laughs> let's put this down here carefully. No, I said carefully. No, I said carefully. There we go. Not idle, is it, really? Um, the machine had to be running. But it is also a bit awkward because I need to drop it... Ah, drop it exactly into the middle. So it went off to the side there, didn't it? That could be a bit of a problem. Well, it isn't a problem. I'm not going to be manually loading like this, am I? I'm not going to be manually loading. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be loading in other ways. So, for a start, we need this. Now, this thing supposedly turns big chunks into smaller chunks. Oh. I'm going to have to keep on turning for a bit longer. Okay. That's fine. Um, have I got another conveyor belt? Maybe I don't need another conveyor belt. Maybe I can just use the other one. That's a drill. Now look at that. We're not, we're not ready for that yet. <laughs> Too soon for that. Um, I can probably do this actually. There we go. I must, I must fix these down as well. Otherwise, at some point, I'm going to get annoyed because it's going to. I'm going to pick them up by accident. There we go. That's good. Come on. There we go. Does again. This thing does not need anything special. Doesn't need any fancy filtered water or anything like that. Let's lock these down. Right. So we'll try again to drop stuff onto here. And we shall... We shall see if it grinds it into smaller pieces, because I reckon... You know how two shovelfuls gives me a bucket's worth? I reckon you'll get more stuff out of a a bucket if you grind it up first. Two pieces. Now it's hard to tell if we're actually getting more out. Because we need to do some science to compare it with. But I don't... I'm not actually going to bother with that. Because I don't see why you would have a system that grinds up bits of dirt into smaller pieces. If it didn't cause a... create a benefit in some way. You know what we could do and try as well actually? There's a really big bit of dirt down there. Now if I try to put that bit of dirt onto... Uh, the top of the harvester, it won't grind, it's too big, it's two small pieces joined together. Which happens sometimes if you put them on the ground a certain way. And I'm wondering if this will... Ah, that's interesting. You see that? So, it went from a really big piece to a small piece to two smaller pieces... But it didn't break it up any further. Now what I'm thinking about here is that I don't know what's going to come out of the drills. Or oh, remember that big drilling machine, like a driven vehicle that's over at the uh, the shop. What does that make? Does it make small piles of dirt? Or does it make really big piles of dirt? If it makes really big piles of dirt, I need two grinders. One to reduce the dirt. Oh. What do you reckon happens if a small piece of dirt hits a grinder? 
Okay, I, I said we weren't going to do any science, but we are going to do a little bit of science, okay? Just a weeny bit. Let's see what happens. We're going to have to be fast and try and grab a piece. So if I... Actually, we don't need to because the harvest is not running, so anything goes at the top won't go anywhere. Um... Ah! Come here! I've got a little piece. Ready? Would it be a come an even tinier piece? Right. Right. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Okay. I'm excited now. I didn't expect that to be a thing. Where's the other piece? Did it end up over here? I think it probably did, didn't it? No, it didn't. Where did the other bit go? Here? No, that's not here. Hmm. Right, okay, so what have we got in the... in the, uh, I can't see a darn thing. Hold on a second. I didn't show you this. I bought this ages ago, but I didn't show you. Hold on. It's a mining helmet. Although, weirdly... You wear it with Q, and Q is the same button you use to um, drive the drive the, get in the get in the truck. So if you're wearing a mining helmet, you're you're, <laughs> you're not allowed to go in the truck because it makes you drop it. Uh, so in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of gold. Ah, two pieces of iron, and nothing in there. Here we go. Even smaller pieces. Did anything come out? Possibly not. I didn't hear any ding dong dangs as they go into the thing, so we might have chopped it too small. Ah, a lively jumper. Some stuff came out. So, we need, ah, we need at least one more grinder, I think, is what we need. Okay, we'll do the drill in a minute. I'm off to the shop. I know it's late. Don't worry, Wilhelm's always open. That's my tool bag. I'll use that later. What else have I got here? I've got a magnet. I haven't played with that yet. I know, so it's shopping. I have loads of money, though. Loads of money. Okay, I no longer have loads of money. But that's fine. Spending it in a good course. Although hold on a second. What a sudden thought. How do you go from, how do you do a transition between conveyor belts? Like that, I'm presuming. You reckon? So do you reckon if I had a drill here, to get it to go from here to here, I need to do that? I might do. We won't worry about it yet, because I don't, I I've lost my hammer. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm reckoning that's how, how it will work. It will go on to here and on to here. I was thinking there's no curved conveyor, is there? There's no corner conveyor. But I reckon this is probably the most efficient way to chop up the dirt to um, 
to get as many resources out of it as possible. Let's get some really good muck from down here, shall we? Here we go. Here's the good muck. Oh yeah. So now I'm really increasing everything I'm doing here. So these two. So, so well, I presume if we presume that. Um, every time they go through the grinder, I am increasing every so every time I reduce a piece going through the grinder, I'm going to get the same number of resources come out of it. So you get four pieces come out of a chunk. If I reduce a chunk twice, I've then increased multiplied by four the amount of pieces I'm now going to get out of this bucket worth. Is that what I'm supposed to be saying here? If it is, that's a massive increase. Yeah, they are scattering still a little bit, unfortunately. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, you know. I, I'm not sure if I'm actually getting more or not. But it's very hard to compare because of the way the the randomness of what comes through for, and I'm not in the mood to be doing more. I'm going to presume for now that I am getting more, wow, more for my money by grinding it up twice. I'm presuming to agree that, to, to decide that, okay? Not Garrett, it's not confirmed. I'm going to presume it. But there you go. Um, what I do is do is something about this though, possibly. I'm getting, oh, that is a problem, though. I'm getting a bit, a bit sick. Hmm. Of catching things. Hmm. I don't know. And I can. That's what the magnets for to catch, catch that. I wonder if I should build this up even higher. Because the two answers are, like I said before, dropping this down one, or building more boxes up to box it in so less stuff comes out. Mm, I think I'll probably do that. That's the cheap answer, is to put more boxes in. Isn't it, really? I don't know. Also, while we're here, can we test something? So. Haven't tried this yet. Not this, but this. I'm presuming if I do this, I'll pick up stuff that's nearby. But how nearby? It's not the really bigness of an even bigger magnet that says picks up things and items over a large area. But when I say things, I'm guessing that. Oh! Wow, when they say pick things up, is that what it was? That tiny little bit of magnetic power there? Come here, you. It's not amazing, is it? If that's what it does. Does Q do it? No? What? <laughs> What exactly is it supposed to be doing? Oh, I, I've got an idea. Hold on a second. Maybe once it's inside a container, it doesn't want to pick it up. How about that? Because things lock inside the container, don't they? If I pick this up like this... No, just give me, just give me the shot. Wow. Magnet power, huh? That's a... Uh, that's pretty insipid, isn't it, really? Is, th is that what it's doing? How about if we do... Let's assume that a, a gold piece would be better. Uh, no, no, an iron piece would be better. Because iron is, of course, magnetic. Being ferrous. Are you ready? Are you ready to watch it fly towards me? It's a little faster, I guess. Let's never speak of it again. <laughs> I'm insulted by how bad that was. I'm presuming, by the way, the big magnet will do the same. No, no, don't do that. 
This, the big magnet will do the same thing that the uh, small magnet did, just just as just as unimpressively over a larger area. <laughs> you know, we've all bought bad things. We've all bought things off Etsy, other places. We thought it looked really good, and then when I got it, it was like, "This is rubbish." Well, there you go. I've been done. I'm going to go out and have a word with Willem. You know, I'm going to apply his magnet to part of him and I suggest to him that I'm not very impressed. Stick it right up his... So, um, the other thing I could do, possibly, is we've talked about... They've, they've mentioned um, pressure containers. I don't know if they've got one over here or not. But you can get these pressurised things. Pressure tanks. Is there one over here? That makes the water flow go faster. There's not, is there? No. Because I was noticing that I've not really cared about the speed of the conveyors or the speed of the harvest. That seems very good. But a number of things have, have description that if you use higher water pressure they go faster. And this was a bit slow. So I wonder if we could put a, a pressure container in there and that will make it go a bit faster. Oh, thank goodness, I thought I was going to run out of fuel on the way back. Terrible MPG. Terrible that only uses water. There you go. So this is a... Have I hammered that in place already? I'm so efficient. We're going to move both because we've got a I've got a pressure gauge as well. I thought, you know, why not? Let's use a pressure gauge as well. Maybe not on this one. I'll use a pressure gauge later, probably. We've got it there to play with around later. I'm almost out of money, by the way. I've got about 99... quids left. Coins left. There we go. Now we can see inside it. I need to put a shard in there, don't I? That's what I need to do. We've got a spare shard over here. I've got quite a few shards. I'm not sure if this is going to use the shard up or not. It might do. Ah. Come here. Where's it gone? It's been sucked up the pipe. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do it this time. We're going to do it this time. Yes. I know. I want to do it. Okay, it's glowing, so I presume it's working. So I guess it's going to use up the shard. I think it's going a bit faster. I think it's going a bit faster. If I was smart, of course, I'd have put the pressure gauge here. How do you know if it's going to rear out, do you reckon, if a shard's going to use up? Hmm. I don't know. But I know what I think, though which is that, it would now make a good idea. I don't think I've got any money left. Have I got another valve? Oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. It doesn't matter if these other ones run. If I take this out of here, this one, this doesn't need to be here, does it? Yeah, I think it's going to use up the shard. No. <laughs> no. No. Close that back up again. There you go. There we go. We'll put one over here. There we go. I think that's been it's been a very successful bit of messing around. Possibly the shard is not necessary. 
But you know what? I think it's fine. I wanted to do the drill in Seppard as well. Um, this is this is a new learning thing, by the way. The fact that we can break things up twice. Whether it's actually relevant or not, I don't know. But I think it might be. Uh, I'll do the drill next time, okay? We're going to mess around with the drill. And if we can get enough money, we'll do the Goliath drill as well. Which is a bit more money. And then, once we've done that, we're pretty much set up. I think we can start grinding <laughs> this entire area into valuables. And then we get to that stage there. I think we're doing pretty blooming good. We've made some real... And I'm making some real progress. Some, uh, I'm wondering how I'm going to connect these two together. I don't know. But I think we're going to be making some real, you know, some real good moves there. We, we'll pretty much be set up, ready to go. Everything else from then on is just an amplification of more, isn't it? Exciting stuff. Anyway, this was fun. Thanks for watching. If it was, I'll see you again next time.